Good morning. We're going to start off by working on the worksheet from last week on scale drawings. My group um, got through at least one through six, the table that you see here, and some of them got started on the word problems. Some of them may have actually finished it. If you were in Miss Giles' group, then you may have gotten more or less of this done. I'm going to go ahead and work through number seven just to remind you how we set these up and then you're going to be given time to finish these out. Um, the only one that we really haven't talked about is one like number 11. Miss Giles may have talked to her group about that one but um, my main focus right now will be number 7 through 10 so if you can get all of 1 through 10 done I think that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at number 7. These are architecture problems and it says um, I'm going to start reading up here in this bold part. As part of a city building refurbishment project, architects have constructed a scale model of several city buildings to present to the city commission for approval. The scale of the model is one inch equals nine feet. Very important information for us right here. Number seven says, the courthouse is the tallest building in the city. If it is seven and a half inches tall in the model. Very important that we know that that comes from the model. How tall is the, and notice the word actual, that's a word we use quite a bit with our formula. How tall is the actual building? So we're gonna come over here and set this up the same way we've been doing it. And to start off with, we need to use our formula. So scale, and this can be scale or scale factor, either one, it doesn't matter is equal to uh, scale measurement. You can put scale measure, that should be good enough, over or to an actual measure. So there's the formula that we used last week. We know the scale of the map. It was in the directions over here, or of the model, and it is one inch equals nine feet. So over here where it says scale in our formula, we're gonna put one inch over nine feet. And that should be equal to, and if we go back, it tells us that the courthouse is the tallest building in the city and it is seven and a half inches tall. That's not very tall, especially for a building. In fact, it's probably not even possible. So it's important for us to remember that this is from the model, so this is the scale measurement. So if we take a look at our formula, scale measure goes on top, so we have seven and a half inches. Another way to tell is if this measurement is in inches and we see inches on top over here, that means inches must go on top over here. So it's the actual measurement that's missing. A couple ways we could solve this, we could either scale up or we could cross multiply. I'm gonna go ahead and cross multiply. So one times X is equal to nine times seven and one half. One times X is just one X or X. Then you have to figure out what nine times seven and a half is. So you may have to come out here and actually do this, which is what you should do. Um, seven and a half is the same thing as 15 halves. And I'm checking to make sure there's nothing I can factor out or divide out. I don't believe that there is. So we end up getting 135 over 2. Oh, sorry. You're fine. So, um, anyway, sorry. We had the janitor stop by. So 135 over 2, um, when we simplify that out, gives us quite a number. You may have to come over here and use some long division, which is perfectly fine. So 2 into 135, 2 into 13, it'll be 6 times, and take away 2 times 6, and then 2 into 15, that'll be 7 times, take away 2 times 7, which is 14, so it looks like we're going to have to put a placeholder up here, oops, make a better looking zero than that, so we get 67 point five. So over here, you can put 67.5 or 67 and one half, and that will be in feet. And there
there is our answer for how tall the actual courthouse is.